Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be part two of my sticker collection and it's going to be where I keep all of my individual sticker sheets which is in these albums and also I'm going to show my washi collection at the end. So if you want to see that, stay tuned till the end because I will show that and yeah, so basically I have I have <laughs> seven different albums like this one album from simply gilded and then this little folder from the honey bee shop that i sh store all my individual sticker sheets and there's no foil in any of these it's just purely from shop so i have um this is my seasonal album that's why it's like this buffalo pr plaid print that looks christmasy um so yeah i just keep some seasonal stickers in here and I do have some seasonal ones in here as well, but for the most part, they're in here. This is what I store, like, my everyday planning things in. I will go into that more. Um, this one is my character album. This is my doodle album. This is my script album. My cat album of cat stickers. Um, this one has food. This one is all things from the honey bee shop and then lastly this one is like my functional boxes page where i have like separate sheets of special boxes and functional items basically so let's just start from the first one that i here have up here and then go back actually i think i'll start with this one first so basically this is a little folder that i got in my honey bee shop babe box and you can see it's very small but basically I just keep like functional items in here. So in this front pocket, I have my little monthly scripts that I use for my sidebar. And I just keep it in here for like easy access when I'm doing spreads. I can just take one out really quick. Then on the other side, I keep extra <laughs> little sheets of date numbers that I've cut off of kits. And I just keep those in here because most of the time I either use black ones ones that come in the kit and if they don't i pull from here or i can use my fold ones which i keep in a separate binder so i just keep that in this front pocket then in the back i keep my little samplers from simply gilded that i haven't used yet so i have four right here and then i also have this extra sheet of sticker paper in case i want to like write something on it and cut out a little script to put on if I'm doing bougie or something and it does have stickers printed on the back but they're printed on the wrong side of the paper so that won't show up so yeah I just keep that over there because don't know where else to put those little sheets and then behind here I also keep like sidebar functional things so I have my little highlighter sheets from the fruity sticker co in a few different colorways and then I just have two divider that I sometimes use. I don't really have many dividers so yeah. I did have two sheets of these but I just recently used up my last sheet so this one is basically new and then this one only has two used from it as well. So yeah I keep those there and that's all that this little album stores. Um, Sometimes I do put like seasonal stickers in here if I think that they would get lost in all my albums and I can't find them. Sometimes I will put them in here. Okay then moving on to this album this is my seasonal one from simply gilded and just looks like this black in the inside so first in my little pocket i have a random christmas christmas die cut from sugar box stickers i just thought it was really pretty so i wanted to put it over there i have some snowflake um headers from the pretty pink co I just have this little um, holiday card from Mixie Cat stuff. And then I also have um, these little scripts that I got like when I first started planning in 2019 um, of like Christmas scripts that I don't have the heart to throw away. So I just saved them on this extra piece of paper, sticker paper basically. And yeah, that's what I keep in the side pocket. I honestly don't really look at this... Um, album that much because the only like seasonal things I have in it is um I have fall Christmas 
some winter stuff. I don't really have that many winter specific stickers. And then Halloween, that's all I have in here. So in this first pocket, I have a bunch of my samplers. So this one is from Joy of Planning. It's a fall sampler. This Christmassy winter one from Sugarbox Stickers. This um, fall one from Paper and Milk. And then another fall one from Paper and Milk. These were from my friend. She sent them to me. And then in the beginning, it starts into my um, my Christmas sheets. So over here, I have like my very just Christmassy stickers from Mixie Cat stuff. And then I have like planning and um, like on a laptop. So I have Mixie Cat and Sugarbox stickers right there. I just thought they would go good together. I kind of group my stickers in the same pocket together just to like if I'm looking for a specific sticker I have all my options in one little pocket. So these are specifically Starbucks holiday Christmas cups. So I have it from Sugarbox stickers and Mixie Cat stuff. And then these are my hot chocolate ones. These are just mugs but I think I would use those for hot chocolate and then these are definitely hot chocolate ones. So, yep, Mixie Cat and Sugar Box stickers again. That's basically what all my holiday stickers are from. Then I have, um, like, coffee ones that aren't Starbucks, but are, like, Christmassy. So I have those two shops again. Then these are just, like, Christmas shopping and gift wrapping right there. Then I have like cooking and holiday treats. These are all from Sugarbox stickers. So I have the baking, the ice cream, and the cupcakes. I just keep those together. And then I have the Christmas feast, like family feast. And there's a little turkey, which I also use these for Thanksgiving. Even though they have Christmas hats, I, these are the only like family dinner stickers I have. And then over here I have... Um, happy mail for like Christmas theme but also just wintry because some just have hats and then only one of them has a Christmas hat and then I have Christmas shopping scripts from Sugarbox stickers I have two sheets of like full scripts so I have pumpkin spice latte scripts from ice cream joe that my friend gave me and then these fall bucket list scripts from the fruity sticker co I can get them back in. Then I have some winter cats and some fall cats. Then over here I have some more fall things. So I have this sheet from Sweeping Plans that my friend gave me and then two like just fall pumpkin themed sheets from Mixie Cat. Then I have all my pumpkin spice latte things. So I have these from Mixie Cat these from Sweet Bean Plans, which is mugs and like little shelves, which is really cute. Okay, then I have like this is more functional stuff here. So these are all my pumpkin colorway sheets from the Free Sticker Co. So I have leaf dividers, pumpkin dividers, leaf um, checklist with five and three, pumpkin. Oh, these are like leaf page flags, and then just some orange washi strips. And then some gold foiled headers as well on like yellow paper. So there's those. And then I also have my pumpkin colorway mini sheets. So I have, I got these really late in fall last year. So I didn't really get to use many of them. But I got the coffee cups, the corners, the page flags, the cards, or like, yeah, the credit cards. And then I got a lot of these. Oh, I only got two. Okay, so I got two of these like little post-it note um, boxes and then some heart disc checklists. I would only really use this colorway for fall pretty much. So I just keep it in my fall section back here. And then we jump into Halloween. So these are printable stickers from Print and Plan. And I have the Halloween deco sheet. It came with two pages. This is like bigger deco and then smaller deco. And then the Halloween countdown, which I only used, 
after 20 days down because I found this sheet um, on Etsy whenever it was pretty late in October so I only started using it then but I have these and then I have my Halloween mugs from Mixie Cat Stuff which are adorable I love them so much then I have my Honey Bee Shop Skeleton Coffee Mugs and my Paper Candy Art Halloween Mugs. Then I have this Halloween Costume Sheet from Mixie Cat Stuff. And then these are all from the Fruity Sick Co. I have Bat Black Checklist, little bows that are like Jack and Sally themed, and then some more boxes down here. And then these are just my Halloween themed sheets as well so I have these spider circles spider corners and then two pages of these bow um or not bow these bat boxes basically so yeah that is that and then lastly I just have this sampler sheet from the honeybee shop that has a foldable full box and then some little deco down there so yeah that's everything in that album pretty packed with a lot of stuff and I really like this system of like holiday stuff because I can kind of just grab this whole album when I'm doing themed spreads like that. Okay so next this is my character album and I do just put random journaling cards I get in orders on the front of them. So this one is from Sugarbox Stickers and this one is from the Honey Bee Shop and that's how I like to use my journaling cards is putting them in my albums and I don't label my albums or anything. I just kind of know by what journaling card what goes in what album. I just kind of have like that memory. What is it called? Um, I don't know. I forget what it's called. But like I just remember it by what it looks like. I have tried labeling it. But um, the way I store it in my system, you can't really see the label that good. So anyways, let's get into it. So firstly, I put any character things that are like seasonal over here. So I have this spring sampler sheet from Joy of Planning over here. And then it jumps into my first sheet. So I just have these two couple stickers. Um, this one's from Joy of Planning and this one's from the Whimsical Cat Studio. Then I have like, um, this one is not supposed to be in that section, I don't think. Um, but these are supposed to just be like couple stickers not sleeping together. These are from Whimsical Cat Studio. Super cute. And then these are from Joy of Planning. Actually, yeah, I think I was meant to store this in here because they're kind of like on a date as well. But I normally use these for eating breakfast together because they have like little coffees and they're just like sitting having coffee. So I like to mark that when we eat breakfast together. Then I have these motorcycle ones of me and my boyfriend because my boyfriend does have a motorcycle and I go on rides with him sometimes. Um, I've only used one so far because I got it when we were in winter and obviously we don't ride in winter. Then I have airplane stickers because um, that's what I do for work, aircraft mechanic. So I have Wim School Cat Studio, Joy of Planning, and Joy of Planning. So I have these three of me and my two best friends and these are supposed to be me and my mom so I think that this video is gonna be too long if I go ahead and like pull them all out and explain so I'll just pull them out and kind of tell you where they're from man got man guys these are from Whimsical Cat Studio I have happy ones from Whimsical Cat um paper and milk and bare necessities so what they look like I just got the pa every paper and milk thing I have in here I just got so they are not used at all then I have like upset ones so joy planning glam planner some more glam planner game night um, these are hair washing stickers I have paper and thread joy of planning joy of planning these are more like hair like getting your hair done like blow drying and then I have these because my hair is like black and pink so I just got these but these are like Halloween doodles they're really cute but yeah those are my hair washing stickers and then I have movie stickers 
So these ones from Paper and Thread, like watching it on a laptop, and these ones from Joy of Planning of me and my boyfriend. Then I have period, like PMS stickers, makeup stickers, um, filming, taking a nap. Um, this is like going for a walk or running. And then I have these mixed variety workout stickers in the back. Some stickers I have pink hair, brown hair, and black hair. It's just a mix. Then I have these cat stickers, which is me and my cat Zippy, and then me and my cat Bella. I have a tuxedo cat that's gray and a calico. Then I have cooking stickers. Um, my friend got me this one from Once More With Love, and then these are from The Scammer, and then these are from Joy of Planning. I don't know why these are in here. Because this is not a character, but I guess they're just in here. And I'll leave it in there. Then I have planning stickers. So these ones from Paper and Thread. And then these ones from Honey Bee Shop, which is just a girl holding stickers. Which I like to use those for when I mark pulling stickers for like videos. And then I have laundry, paying bills, Paper and Thread. All these purple ones are from Paper and Thread. I have computers. Um, this is like the board sheet and then like the cat mask. It has a little mask of a kitty. Then I have TV stickers. These are Hulu and then these are just generic TV stickers from Paper and Thread. I have washing masks. I have cramps, um, like a little cat family. Um, a Harry Potter sheet, a I need space sheet from Paper and Thread. I don't know why this is in here because these aren't characters, but I have these food utensil sheets um dishes oh yeah those are from the fruity sticker co these are from mochi kichi wine stickers camping stickers from paper and milk snowboarding stickers um computer this is um actually like scooping cat poop and the little bag says poo on it which i think is just the cutest detail and then i have facetime stickers and happy mail stickers from mochi kichi so yeah, that is my character album, which has some random doodles in it. Then let's go on to my doodle album. So this is like my... Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is like my doodle and icon album. So this journaling card is from the Honey Bee Shop. And it says personality crisis. And I just think her makeup and hair is really pretty. And then I have another Honey Bee Shop um journaling card in the back so when you open it up i have any stickers that are like really relevant to right now that i don't want to forget to use so i just have this like covid sheet from marshmallow studio right there and then it jumps into my stickers so in the front i have my tattoo stickers from the honeybee shop and then i have one from peachy plans in the back then i have my Dollar Tree stickers, Walmart bags, um, recycling, shopping bags. Um, these are all like laundry stickers, washing the dishes, phones, trash, computers, happy mail, uh, tools, cars, bicycles, cameras. Um, I have netflix and popcorn together then i have instagram icons which the other ones look like this and i do have a lot of sheets of those because when i first started planning i was using those sheets a lot so i think i had five of those at once and now i'm down to almost three then i have youtube stickers um this is just like a little sampler sheet of planning from marshmallow studio these are printable stickers so i have cameos and printers um, these are all planners. That was my oven. Sorry. Um, these are all planners. Um, they're just like random sheets, basically. What is the one back here? I can't see. I think those, yeah, those are cloud planners. All those cloud planners are printables. This was from a sampler. That's the Furry Sticker Co. And that's the Scammer. Um, these are also printable sheets. They're just like little stickers on top of a planner, which I don't really like this sheet, but I guess I have it. Then I have some backpacks, 
um, some Ferris wheels, which I was going to use to mark going to the boardwalk since I have a boardwalk near me because I live near the beach. Um, but yeah, I just haven't ended up using them because I kind of forget I have them. And then I have some more printer stickers, which is a printable. I have some, uh, what are these called? Some pill bottle stickers. So I have these from Peachy Plans. I have these from Bare Necessities Co., which is so cute. And then these are also from Bare Necessities. So I just keep those together. I don't know why I'm showing you some of them and not showing you some of them. I don't know. Um, then I have like sleeping icons. So I have moons and pillows from the Freddy Sticker Co. Lots of nail stickers. I have these like press on nail stickers from um, Bare Necessities and the Freddy Sticker Co. Which I really love because I use press on nails. But I do need um, like these regular nail polish stickers sometimes because sometimes I do like actually paint my nails, but I always use nail polish on my toenails. So if I ever paint my toenails, I have that sticker. Okay, yeah, we can kind of see those. These are all credit card icons and I have two different colorways in here. I have some balloon stickers, some podcast stickers. These are like actual microphones and then I have some headphones. Then I have like workout, well I have sneakers and then scales for like working out things. Then I have these little sun loungers <laughs> from Alyssa's Craft Shop to mark when I go tanning. They just look like that. I got those at the end of summer, that's why I only used one. Um, then I have a bunch of weather stickers. So I have this like sampler sheet from the Fruity Sticker Co. This is all rain clouds, rain clouds, and then another sampler sheet from Written on Papers Co. And then I have my YouTube little chat bubbles right here that I just marked. I use these to mark basically anything related to YouTube. Then I have these fill up stickers from Lulu's Daisy and Co, which is such an old shop. This was like one of the first shops I ever got when I started planning. It's from Etsy. Then I have some black airplanes from OK Plans, some rose stickers from the Honeybee Shop, and some s'more stickers from Paper and Milk, which I didn't really know where to put these, like what section to put them, so I just figured I'd put them there because they're not just food stickers, they're not just seasonal stickers, <laughs> they're, they're kind of like a variety, so I just put them in here. And then lastly, I just have some mask stickers from Bare Necessities Sticker Co. And that's everything in this album. So next is my script album and flat lays as well are in here. So I have this journaling card from the Honey Bee Shop that says let's get crafty and I love her pink hair. She's just so cute. And then I just have a Simply Gilded journaling card in the back. So oh yeah and it has the same girl on the back of this one just in a different skin tone. So up here I have all of my like um, in my feelings scripts basically. So I have these that say want to be where the people aren't. I have Planet Hannah that says sad bitch and fuck you anxiety. And then Shay made me these that say in my feelings. So I just keep all those together. Then I have fold the damn clothes script. Didn't quit my job but I wanted to. Um, these say with Nick and with my person, so I have Plan of Hannah, ones that I made myself, and then ones that Shay made me. Then I have Clean the, ha this one is Cleaning Stickers, Cleaning Scripts, oh my god. So I have Lulu's Daisies and Co, and then Plan of Hannah, which was an oops sheet. You can see that there's like some foiling not working there. <laughs> Then I have Aunt Flo is here from the Honey Bee Shop. And then these I also made myself, which are um, my cats with Bella with Zippy. And then Cuddle Time, which I've used a lot of because I usually mark Cuddle Time with my cats. So I just keep those together. And then this is like my YouTube, <laughs> YouTube section of scripts I made. So I made Upload Plan With Me, Upload Haul, Edit, and Film Scripts. And then I did just recently get some clear sticker paper, so I was playing around with making scripts on that. So 
So I made these for my sidebar for my habit trackers. I made IG posts and no spends. But as you can see, like the cut lines got really off cut. So the only ones that actually cut well are the ones over here. So I just kept this sheet anyways. And then this payday sheet, which they all cut really good. So I just keep those together because they're for my um, habit trackers. And then I did make a few like fast food scripts because um, at the time I had a lot of fast food in the week that I was planning for so I just decided to make them. So I have Jersey Mike's, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, Starbucks, and Dunkin', Burger King, went mcdonald's and wendy's and then i have a few extras of burger king that fit on the side of the paper so i just keep that in here and then <laughs> some more that i made myself i made these coffee time ones and then i have coffee monday from the fruity sticker co and from written on papers co so i just keep my coffee scripts together I don't have a lot of scripts that's why I only have a little tiny album because I'm not really like super into script I'm just now getting into it so then I have organized stickers and then I have like driving stickers so I have um this says mom's house from happy Daya, road trip from Shay and then road trip from Lulu's daisies and co my friend gave me these as well but I really like them Then I have Pizza Night from Shay and Daily Routine stickers from the Honey Bee Shop. Haven't used those. I have Read and Journal. I have Me Time Self Care from the Honey Bee Shop. These are some printables that say Face Mask and Me Time. And then I have this um, sampler that has scripts and icons from Marshmallow Studio. That is kind of like a self care sheet, so I thought it would go good with that. And then I have Relax and Lazy Day from the Honey Bee Shop laundry stickers from Lulu's, shave from Lulu's, um, I have eyebrow appointment scripts from the GP studio, and then a, like, self, or skincare sampler sheet from Marshmallow Studio, then I have work scripts from Written on Papers Co. and the Free Sticker Co., same thing over here, and they're just saying to do, then I have Happy Mail scripts, sleep in scripts these are printable and these are from kimmy's studio these are print and cut scripts that are printable i have netflix binge from the fruity sticker co um feeling crafty from sweeping plans that my friend gave me and then it gets into my date covers so i have these from what are these from simply goaded these are from written on papers co simply mess sticker guru I guess I used the one that was right there, written on Papers Co. And then I get into my flat ways. So I have these airport ones from Whimsical Cat Studio. These planning ones from the Free Sticker Co. Some camping ones. Some uh, picnic ones. I actually have two sheets of these and I've only used one. So these are from Sweet Bean Plans. And then I have these like lemonade one mason jar ones and then these pool ones which i've used so many of i need another sheet of this i have skincare um these are cooking ones from stella bow sticker co some pizza ones and then these from the scammer that are like working flat lays that i used to use for when i did budgeting and that is everything in this album so let's go ahead and move on to the next one Okay, so my next album is all of my cat stickers and cat theme stickers, basically. Um, so this journaling card is from Mixy Cat Stuff. This was the first, well, actually the second ever all cat character shop I found. The first one was Paper and Thread. They used to be Sweet Ava's Paper, but I have mainly Mixy Cat Stuffers <laughs> stickers in here. Mixy Cat Stuff stickers in here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. And then I have the same card on the back and then this one is from Paper and Thread and this one is from Mixy Cat as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first I have some sampler stickers in here. So this one back here was a bigger sheet of this character from GP Studio that has 
a bunch of different um basically a little sampler of all the different character stickers she has and yeah I had to cut it shorter because it didn't fit in here but I have this and then these are a bunch of freebies from Mixie Cat stuff that I haven't fully used up yet so I just keep them in the front so then I have some cramp stickers basically all of these are from Mixie Cat so I'll let you know when they're not so I have cramp stickers um camping cooking fast food stickers um reading pizza payday and like money stickers um this is like sad stickers kind of so there's like a cat with tea a cat with ice cream a diary and like watching sad movies because it has like popcorn and tissues then i have etsy stickers this is like um getting ready like morning routine stickers because there's like brushing your teeth doing your makeup picking out clothes and breakfast which i've used a lot of the breakfast ones and it did have shower ones on here which i've used all of those as well then this is another cooking sheet this is laptop sheets makeup netflix um starbucks which i really love i wish i had a whole sheet of the pink ones for like pink drink because i love pink drinks um this is just like stickers like a cat holding stickers i use that for like marking pulling stickers and stuff then i have sleeping walmart um youtube this was youtube and youtube binge so i only have the binge stickers left because i don't usually use those as much then i have really like sad and crying stickers um nap time shaving um like desserts basically um cars these are um motivational quotes as you can see it's just holding little signs um face masks um feeling really exhausted and tired pasta <laughs> which is really funny um these are called the Fortnite sheets which is like two little cats in a fort but i use it to mark when i have cuddles with my cats because those basically look like my cats then i have the birthday sheet um this is this is the whimsical cat studio section i have these kind of flat lays from whimsical cat which basically looks like my two cats and i use this to mark when i have cuddles with them and i use this whenever i have a day that doesn't have a lot of plans usually on the weekends and here's my cat <laughs> then i have um hi hi Okay, yeah, as you just saw, my cat Bella, she just came up here, but she's a calico, so I did get these calico stickers from Whim School Cat Studio of, like, laptops, and then some more ones, but these have characters with them, which I really love, and then these calico envelopes to mark Happy Mail from Sweet Ava's Paper, some birthday ones, washing dishes, um, this is my cat Zippy, both of these, so this is, like, playing with him, and then this is just him. And then I also have customs of Bella, my calico. And then I have these ones, which is both of them together. So I mark, like, I use this to mark if I have cuddles with both of them. Then I have, like, these litter box stickers from GP Studio and some laundry ones. These are anxiety ones from Paper and Thread. And then, like, a little sampler from Marshmallow Studio. Target stickers, planning time. These are, like, um valentine's planning stickers they have little hearts on them and then lastly just little chocolates from paper and thread and that's the snowball character so yeah that is my cat binder obviously i have cat stickers in other sections too but this one is mainly like all my mixy cat stickers okay lastly these are like my smallest albums so this part should go by a little bit quicker. If you see cat hair on my desk, I'm so sorry. My cat sheds so much and she keeps jumping up here. So I'm sure there will be a lot of cat hair. But anyways, this is my food album. There's not that much in there because I actually don't have that many fruits, food stickers. But this journaling card is the, um, this is from the Honey Bee Shop, but it was a collab with Bare Necessities. And then this one is just a Scribble Prince Co. Silver Bow. So let's jump into it. First thing is my Honey Bee Shop Space um, coffee stickers or just drink stickers. 
Then I have my Death Before Decaf iced coffee stickers from the Honeybee Shop. This coffee sampler from Marshmallow Studio. I have lots of coffee stickers in here. I think that's like the most stickers of a certain category that I have. Then I have these different colorways of these coffee cups from the Fruity Sticker Co. And yeah, I have a bunch of those colorways. Um, I have some other drink stickers, like more like breakfasty drinks. So I have this sheet of Dunkin' coffees and just doodles from the Fruity Sticker Co. Iced coffees from Peachy Plans and then little smoothie stickers from Paper and Milk. So I just keep that up there. And then this is kind of like my breakfasty section slash coffee section. So then I have these coffee stickers from Mochi Kichi. These are from GP Studio. This is pancakes and tea. So Free Sticker Co. and Mochi Kichi. And then my egg breakfast stickers from Paper and Milk that I love so much. I got two sheets of those. Um, this is not breakfast, but these are Mai Tai drinks from Melissa's Craft Shop that I just have in there because they're just drink in the drink section then i have beers and paper and milk i have toast stickers to mark avocado toast and just breakfast in general and then i have my burrito stickers Alyssa's craft shop and pg plans and then i have my chick-fil-a stickers which i will show you which i love chick-fil-a it's my favorite fast food place so i have these from the fruity sticker co these from pg plans for the nuggets my cat is bumping my camera and then these from sugar box stickers which are my favorite ones i need to get more of these i'm like scared to use them but yeah i have those and then i have my taco and taco bell stickers so i have these nacho fries from peachy plans these tacos from fruity sticker co and then these taco bell doodles from sugar box stickers which i love the baja blast those are so cute i don't really go to taco bell that much but I needed stickers for them. <laughs> then I have my McDonald's ones from Sugarbox stickers and then these basic fast food ones from Pretty Sticker Co. I have salads, pizza, and tomato soup and that's literally all the doodles I have for food and drinks. It's very small but the ones that I need are in here and I love them. There's more cat hair. And then my next album is my Honey Bee Shop Girl Characters, and this is a journaling card from the Honey Bee Shop, and this one is from Mixie Cat Stuff. Um, yeah, this paper is what came with the album, and I kind of just left it in there. So then these are the Tattoo Babe Girls that I use to mark anything about my hair or tattoos. Sorry if you heard that my cat was playing in a bag. So then I have the Space Girls. These are like just chillin' girls, like um, kind of celestial theme, like celestial theme, because there's like moons and stars. But she just has her planner and she's just chillin'. These are the Boss Babe girls from that collection. Um, the Pizza Girls, which I love so much. <laughs> um, these girls are like at desks, and her shirt says "Get Shit Done," and all these girls have tattoos, and they're stunning. These are the Thick Thighs Thin Patience Girls. I have two sheets of them because I love them so much. Um, these are like budgeting and working girls as well. These are the New Year New Planner Girls with pink hair and I love them. I love how her characters have pink hair a lot because I love pink everything. Then we have the Frappe Girls, the Skeleton Outfit Girls, which would be perfect for Halloween. And it does have some little skeleton deco. These are like, um, kind of like Valentine's girls, I would say, but just like really lovey and romantic. These are the self-care club girls. That's what it says on her shirt, and I did use one. Then we have these girls, which are just like tattooed babes, basically. They're just pretty. Then we have the Santa baby girls, which I love because I'm a Christmas baby. That's my birthday is on Christmas, so I had to get these girls. Then this is just like a little deco sheet from the collection that was like this theme. So there was also a deco sheet. And then these are just like the flower girls, which are really pretty. And then just a random um, deco sheet of the tattoo, whatever. I don't know. 
you guys see it. It's just pretty. <laughs> so yeah, that is that album. It's really small, but I like it. And then lastly, this is like my functional boxes page and just um, layering things basically. So this journaling card is from Planet Hannah. And then on the back, this one is from Simply Gilded. So let's go ahead and jump into what's in here. So first I have a bunch of random things in this section. So these are all things that my friend Sage gave me. The This is some paper shire boxes. And then I think these are from Once More With Love. Some little sticky note boxes, which are really cute. So I just have that in the front there. Then I have some dentist stickers that my mom got me to encourage me to go to the dentist, which I've only went to two appointments as you can see. These are Oops um, transparent stickers from Sticker Guru. Some boxes from Ferdy Sticker Co. These are foldable plan planner stickers from Ferdy Sticker Co. Um, some rose dividers, some doilies in strawberry color, the grape color. These are like the Valentine's colorway. Um, blueberry. These are scallop boxes in strawberry, grape, and blueberry. And then we have some post-it note boxes from Fruity Serico. These are transparent checklists that are or oops ones in the stone colorway from Sticker Guru. Um, all of these things are oops from Sticker Guru back here. Then I have the um, headers or dividers, whatever you want to call them. These are some corner scallops with bows on them and the blush then i have some dividers from Alyssa's craft shop um some more dividers some more post-it boxes um more dividers more dividers slash headers whatever you want to call these They're, they can kind of work for both of them <clears throat> then i have some checklists and then these are just um little heart ones but they look like those checklists then I have some arrows, some um, page flag slash arrow flags kind of right here. Then I have some corner scallops, some more page flags that are the shorter ones, um, some bows, and what's back here? Oh, some more bows that are just circle cutouts, as you can see there. Um, stars, paper clips, hearts, two different kinds of hearts. Um, these are all just like little layering shapes right here. Um, the reason I have a bunch of this colorway is because when I was on the PR team, I got sent the whole collection of this colorway. So yeah, I have a lot of those. And then some more paper shire boxes that my friend gave me. These are from Hootie Lally Day. That is no longer a shop, but it was an Etsy shop that had these different colorways of foiled boxes so I got this peachy orange color that's gold foiled for some reason then I got these clear icons from the honeybee shop that came in my babe box they are icons circles strips and clouds which I did really love the clouds I just keep those back there and then these are some random things from the honeybee shop as well um, I have this foldable box thing that came in one of my orders as a freebie, and this came in the boat, the babe box, which are like little stamp stickers. They're not real stamps, but they're like stickers of stamps, basically. And there's a hair in this album. Love that. And that is it for that album. So yeah, that was basically my whole collection of little sticker sheets. Let me get out all my albums again so I can have them here to show you. I have a lot of albums. I know. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it can't even all fit on the screen. Oh yeah, I forgot I was zoomed in. There we go. So yeah, that is all the albums of stuff I have. Um... If I didn't say where the shop was from and you don't know, you can just ask me. But now I'm going to go ahead and move on to talking about my washi drawers. So keep watching if you're interested in that. Okay, so moving on to my washi storage. I have two three-tiered drawers from 
um, Michaels, and then I have one other drawer thing over here from Home Goods, which I used to have my makeup in, but I don't really wear makeup that much anymore. So I recruited this drawer to store some of my washi and miscellaneous stuff over here, which I won't won't really go into that stuff, but um, that's just what I use it for. And the top two are for washi drawers, and the middle one is empty, as well as this middle one is empty. But I will go into, oh my gosh, my cat wants all the attention. Um, I will go into that whenever I show you what's in the drawers. Okay, so I'm charging my phone and I film with my phone just so you guys know. So anyways, so this top drawer is where I keep my 5 millimeter washi tapes. So I just have these ones. Here's my other cat. Um, I just have these ones from Simply Gilded. I think literally all of these are from Simply Gilded, maybe. So yeah, I just keep all my 5 millimeters up here because I don't really have that many. Um, and it's just easier to keep them up here so I can keep the rest of my bigger washies in those. Oh my gosh. I don't know why they keep coming up when I'm talking about my washi. If you have cats, you guys know that cats love playing with washi tape, so I guess that's why. <laughs> Here's a zipper. Say hi, Bubba's. So next, I have this blank drawer, and this drawer is all my overlay tapes, mostly rose-colored days. So let me just bring this over here. So I have this Christmas one from Rose Color Days. It has green and red foil boxes. This one has pink and blue foil on it. I'm trying to hold it at an angle so you can see the foil color. This one is hollow foil snowflake overlay tapes. This is silver foil heart pattern and this is from Sticky Essentials. Then I have three bottom washi overlay tapes from Caress Press that are just the confetti pattern. Then I have two header overlay tapes from Rose Color Days. These both have bow patterns on it, so I have a silver one and a rose gold one that I just put over there. I don't really use these header overlay tapes that much. I mostly got these in... Um, what's it called grab bags yeah mostly got those in grab bags then i have some bougie box tapes these are from rose colored days let me see if i can grab one jeesh oh okay these are from rose colored days i haven't opened this one but they are like this heart pattern so i have them in all three foils I want to get it in hollow, but I think it wasn't an option at the time that I bought them. So I have silver, gold, rose gold. And then these, this is also from Rose Color Days. It is, um, what's it called? Oh, this is a bougie box tape and it has, um, bows and confetti. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what that has. And, um... It gets really messy in here if you don't put it back right away. Okay, so I have that in silver, rose gold, and gold. And then these three tapes are from Caress Press. And they are just regular um, overlay tapes for full boxes. And there's like three different patterns on them, but they are all confetti. So I have those. And then these are from a variety of different shops. Actually... Actually, they might all be from Sticky Essentials, I think. So yeah, I have gold, gold, silver, rose gold, hollow, and gold. And they are a bunch of different patterns. There's like hearts, confetti, string lights, bows. Yeah. So that is this drawer. And it's kind of organized, kind of not organized. Yeah. So I just keep that in this top organizer right there and then over here I have some more um overlay tapes that I will go over they are kind of like my overflow and smaller tapes because um smaller tapes can fit in these and the rose colored days can't they can only fit in those ones so over here I have 
these are all my extra confetti bougie, bougie box tapes for when I run out of the ones in here. Um, so these are all from Caress Press. So I have, oh God, I have this gold one, rose gold and silver. And I do actually have, yes, I'm wearing Christmas pants. Um, in my drawer, I have these to haul still. My drawer is a mess right now, but I have um, hollow and and sparkly hollow bougie box tapes right here. And also a sparkly hollow um, 15 millimeter tape overlay in here as well that I have to haul still. But whenever I have that, it will go in my drawers as well. This is a sparkly hollow bougie box tape from Sticky Essentials. Rose rose gold bougie from Sticky Essentials. Um, and then just a regular hollow from Sticky Essentials. And then rose gold. These are all Sticky Essentials. Rose gold, gold, and silver. And then these are overlay tapes in confetti and gold from Sticky Essentials. And then... These two are like Valentine's full box overlay tapes from Sticker Guru and I just have it in rose gold and silver and that is all the overlay tapes. And lastly, these are all my drawers that go in here. I just took them out so it'll be easier to show you where they're from. So in the bottom drawer right here, I have all of these right here are from the Honey Bee Shop. It's kind of my Honey Bee Shop collection right here except for these skeleton ones right here those are from simply gilded but i wanted to keep all my simply gilded ones together because they kind of have the same pattern of these little bat bows on here that's like her signature bow and then i have some other ones that don't have any bows that are from my babe boxes like these ones that are kind of halloweeny so that's why i put these skeleton ones back here with the bats because it's kind of halloweenish and then over here I got this in my bait box as well that is um date cover overlays in silver foil and it does actually go with this rose tape they are like perforated little header date covers not header perforated date covers that you put the overlay over so i have those and then back here i have my christmas um washies so i have these four are from, well, all of these are from Simply Gilded. So I have these four. It's um, black, white, navy green, or army green, red, all green foil, all red foil. And then these two perforated tapes with gold simple bows. And then these are like half gold, half colored tapes. And then these three are, well, actually... Yeah, these ones are um, confetti tapes, like Halloween colors, kind of. So I have those over there. And then these five right here are from Rose Colored Days. So these three are perforated solid headers in um, green, sparkly gold, and red. And then these are Christmas tapes <laughs> in that are like little string lights in silver and gold. So I just keep that back here with my Christmas stuff as well because obviously I would only use most of these things for Christmas. Although I did just use the green for St. Patrick's Day. But yeah, I just know that these colors are back here because they're Christmassy. Then let me move this drawer over. Okay, so lastly, these are mostly all the Honey Bee Shop tapes. So mostly over here is bows. And in the back, there are black bows that you can't really see with the lighting right now. And then these are mostly like patterned and the confetti tapes. And then back here are like cat ones, basically. So up front, I have my galaxy ones. So I have these ones that are kind of in a set. They're like beige galaxy this is constellations and these are constellations and um zodiac names on it then i have pink moons with gold foil and then these four are like the flower bundle in different colors then there's this city one this valentine's lips one 
and then these ones were from babe boxes that are just different patterns i really love this butterfly one i haven't used it yet but i have a kit i'm going to be using it for soon then i have my um confetti one so i have dark blue kind of like a grayish blue light blue another dark blue but a different foil color purple um mauve-ish they're supposed to be maybe i don't know i don't know why there's a gap there sometimes i take stuff out and whatever um this is like a lighter purple a hot pink and then a slightly lighter pink and it has blue foil on it and that one has pink and silver and this has blue and silver this was a freebie roll a copper <laughs> um solid foil the airplanes roll that i bought off buy sell trade this is from um so cute planner from the sub box i used to have these two are from the honey bee shop it's just the same thing but one's rose gold and one's silver these are from um simply gilded and they're like a pink pumpkin pattern i think <laughs> i don't know why i got those but I just put it back here because it's kind of with my fall washi. So then I have this one from Sweet Bean Plans that's like pumpkin spice. This coffee one from Mixy Cat. This happy fall mugs one from Sweet Bean Plans. This cat one from Simply Goated. This one is from Mixy Cat. This is from my mom. I think she got it from the Dollar Tree, but it's really cute because it's cats. And then I have my blush baby five millimeter bows this collection was the first ever um washies i bought from simply goaded and i didn't know that 15 millimeters were like the thing so i got the 10 millimeters for some reason so yeah that is my second drawer let me go ahead and put this back and then lastly these are my little bow collections and i think my bow collection is kind of small because this is all i have but, um, <laughs> yeah, there's a missing washi right here that goes with this, which I actually just lost when I was filming my last video because my cat stole it. But anyways, so I have white with silver, white with purple foil, um, tan with gold, tan with rose gold, orange with gold, solid gold, yellow with shattered hollow. It's kind of hard to see. You can see it on this pink one. And then this is like a tie-dye one with silver foil pink with shattered hollow this blue one is from so cute planner these two both have shattered foil this is like a um fourth of july tape which is really pretty the solid pink and then this is the solid light pink with like hollow ish sheen on it these this little set is from so cute planner from the sub box these were oops like transparent washies that are just pink with no foil which i don't really like because um it's so transparent it just kind of looks weird then i have this kind of tie-dye one um this purple with silver purple with gold this kind of tie-dye one has a set of three with silver and this one is well this didn't come with the set but it looks like it and it has hollow foil this came in my um simply gilded box with rose gold foil it's just marble and then i have the whole set of um the black with colored bows so i have the blue pink green goldish yellow and then this one right here is from so cute planner but it is gold so i just put it with that and then i have the purple so yeah that is my washi collection um i don't really buy much washi anymore unless it is from simp from the god i can't talk unless it's from the honey bee shop because i think that her washi is so unique and i just love it a lot i have a lot more five millimeters of this washi than i do buy of these well actually it's kind of the same but i really like this company's washi a lot more than simply gilded now but yeah that is my washi collection and i still have one more empty drawer to fill and this one is basically empty as well so with that being out of the way i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you in my next one bye